Hi, this is Jody from Teachtopia TV. I'm going to show you today how to do geometric art with Microsoft Paint. This should be a great tutorial for anyone who's rather new to Microsoft Paint, which is built into Windows 7, and anyone else who wants to learn how to draw or do paint programs more in general. So here we go. From the Start menu, I'm going to go to All Programs, then I'm going to Accessories, and then I'm going to click on Paint. Now, once we're in Microsoft Paint, let me go ahead and just show you a basic drawing slash illustration and some of the basic tools in Paint. So we'll start off here with a shape. So here I have a rectangle on the bottom. Okay. And then here we'll do another rectangle on the bottom. All right. From here, we're going to do another rectangle. And then we're going to do a another rectangle rectangle and why not do a little rectangle here and a rectangle here a little wide there let's make that not as wide okay so we have a bunch of rectangles because remember we're doing geometric art the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do another rectangle here and another rectangle here. I'm going to move that. Okay, I don't have to move it. It's actually pretty good the way it looks. Okay, now watch what we're going to do. Using the fill tool, which is right here, we are going to find brown. Fill that in. Boom, boom, boom. Fill this in right here. Now it's very important when you see if I touch the line there, exactly what I was going to say is very important. Nonetheless, we have undo right here that you do the inside of the object for fill. Also, if this was not a closed figure, if this was not a closed figure, it would fill outside of our figure. So you got to be careful. Now, let me go ahead and make our street gray, make a grass area right here. Now, I, as you probably know, I'm making a building. There's our chimney. I want to go and have some windows in our building. So let's go ahead and have a, uh-oh, what color do I have here? Let's undo that. Select black for our building. And let's make a window here. Let's go ahead and select this window. Right-click, copy. Right-click, paste. Here's the window again large windows but just a demo I'm not selling this work of art here we go and now I'm going to go ahead and do the make a little door let's go ahead and use some fill again let's make our building a nice color darker brown let's use the fill tool great and let's make a door window 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 let's make a beautiful line connect for our don't want to have it gray let's go undo let's make sure our line's going to be thinner for our wire telephone wire great looking telephone wire i must say notice how it continues from there and goes on and then we're going to have a light blue uh, let's do a let's do a light blue background fill and then one more thing we'll have in our scene is we'll have some beautiful sm um, light blue background and then we're going to have some beautiful smoke coming out make sure it's a closed figure i'm going to be careful right here i'm going to check then I'm going to color with the fill right there. Boom, boom. Now, notice right here we have beautiful geometric art. We rely today pretty much on rectangles, variants of rectangles. And then we had a little bit of draw, and we definitely played around with fill, as well as taking um, objects, copying them, and pasting them. Okay, the next thing that we want to do is we want to save our object. We're going to save it as... Let's save it as a, I don't know, you could use all these objects, but PNG, JPEG, it's up to you. Okay, this was Jody from Teachtopia TV, online learning. 
and hope to see you back watching more Teachtopia TV tutorials.